What? You still see all this blackness under this eye? Yeah, that's the look. It's called the smoky look. Charles, more than smoky, but it look like I've been doing something that I ain't need to be. Child. What's up, Riley? Is that how we're starting? You're not even gonna introduce me? Well, hello there. <laughs> Hello everyone, I am your girl Candy and I'm about to speak on it. Speak on it. <laughs> well, I am your girl Candy and I have Riles, aka Riley, Riley, aka Riles. And we are about to speak on it. She has got grown on me, but this is Riles. I gotta get used to it. Riley, aka Riles, we've been doing this for years. Yeah, yeah, okay, I got it. So wait, let me ask you a question. Now that you are a New Yorker, and you're in college, and you meet new people, how do you introduce yourself? Do you say, hey, what's up, my name is Riles? Or do you say, my name is Riley? I say, my name is Riley. Oh, so you don't even use it on the street, so why are you using it on me? Because it's YouTube. When I go on YouTube, I say, hey, it's your girl, it's Riley, aka Riles. Okay, well, if you want people to call you Riles, shouldn't you just say, hey, what's up, it's Riles? I don't care if people say Riles or Riley. Oh, okay. Yeah, cool. people say either. And now that you're about to, okay, so guess what, y'all? Life update. Riles is about to be working at a record label this summer. Hmm, why would we start like that? We don't want to start there? No. Okay, let's roll back. Then. Okay. All right, so what are we talking about with your life update? Because that's the main thing that happened in your life recently. Oh my Riley. Riley, people ain't really been seeing you on the gram. You don't really post that out there. Why? I don't know, it's a lot of work. What? It is. Is it that much work that you can't post? I mean, yeah, you gotta get ready. You gotta find someone to take pictures of you. You gotta go out and make sure there's sun. And you gotta make sure you look good because if you don't, people are gonna be coming at you in the comments. I guess you're right. Mm -hmm. I mean, you should be used to people coming at you in the comments though. Yeah, but it's still weird. People come at me for how I look. It ain't you. Why are you so worried about how I look? All right, so it's really kind of a bit a long journey of people being able to watch you grow up on television. Uh, me as your mother, I'm super excited for you in the world. But one thing that I get a question that people have at, even t right today before I saw you today, somebody asked me, do you think you will ever be moving back to Atlanta? Will you be living in Atlanta in the future or will you always, are you an official New Yorker now? Like what's the plan? Like in your mind, as in you are where you at right now? My mind, the plan has always been live in New York maybe 10 years up until maybe pushing 30 and then move to LA. So no, you do not plan on living in Atlanta? No. I mean, I'm sure I'll get like a house or apartment there so I can come and you know, visit the kids. Me too, my new mommy. You were in the car. kind of knew that my daughter was the type that was going to want to live somewhere else because she's always talked about living in different places when she was younger she used to be like oh i'm gonna live abroad i'm gonna live here I'm gonna, you know like that was always what she discussed and she kind of sticks to what she says like she's one of those <laughs> obviously i would love to live in a different country every year but a girl's gotta work so i gotta make a home somewhere well, one thing that I'm super excited about is we have a family date coming up. Yeah, we, um, so, you know, everybody knows our oldest, meaning Riley and Kayla both live in New York. Todd and I are in Atlanta with our youngest two. And recently we, we normally try to do family vacations together. We normally try to do like a little spring break trips and 
We tried to have a summer trip and then a winter trip, but they weren't able to make it on the spring break trip this year. Y'all, you had school, oh, yeah. Kayla had work. So it was just us taking our younger ones to the trip, so they didn't make it. So we decided that we were gonna take Riley and Kayla to LA to hang out just for a quick trip. We gotta go to see the Dave Chappelle show. I mean, this is kind of my idea. It wasn't, no. It stemmed from me. Because but it I wasn't told, your idea though. You but just it mentioned. For, no, I, I had can't get credit for nothing. You can get credit for the execution, but I should get credit for the actual event that we're doing. Because I told my mom, you know, I really wanted to go to a comedy show because you know there's so many comedy shows and stuff in New York, and I had went to one when I first came up here this year. So I told my mom like I really wanted to go to a comedy show like with a black comedian and then she hit us up talking about oh are y'all free Dave Chappelle having a show and I was like oh yes I'm going okay so first of all this is this is my issue with what she just said she took credit for everything just because she said no, she would like to go I to a black take... comedy show <laughs> I could have I could have came up to New York and took you here at some round the corner uh comedy show if that's what i wanted to do but i'm saying and i would have still did whatever you said that would have still fit the qualifications i'm of whatever saying you want. yes they planned this but they chose a comedy show because i mentioned it that's what i'm saying so it's a group effort you know it's a family effort because like it is my goal to make my family's dreams come true mm -hmm. like that's a goal and if you could do that obviously you want to do that but what i'm saying is you was like, oh, the only reason why we done is blah, 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 blah. Well, like, no, I wasn't saying it like that. But I can't control how you interpret what I say. So, so <laughs> it is a goal of mine to kind of like, like, okay, because I'm always busy and always working, um, I've been trying to do better about the little things, right? What we said, the little things. That's also what I said. But what? <laughs> when we talked the other day, we were talking about the little things. You were like, Oh, I'm not appreciated. And I was like, no, you are appreciated. I'm just talking about, you know, little things that can be improved. But that was a little thing that I, I felt know, like I listened to I like. things that you wanted. Either way. And it's never enough. It don't matter if you try to do one thing, it, she going to find something else to complain about. Oh, my gosh. I wasn't even complaining. I was just telling. I was actually joking, but can't a girl tell her feelings anymore? So, overall, I've been trying to do better about the little things because I can get very caught up in work, 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 work and, True. and you know, tunnel vision and then they say, oh, you're always on your phone. They always think I'm not listening and whatever, whatever. So sometimes like when we have random conversations and they may mention a little thing, I try to make a little note of it in my phone or, you know, it's just so that I could think, oh, okay, this is something that they like. So, you know, next time I can just surprise them with it or whatever. Mm -hmm. So they know I can. You know, I just a care. random thought. I have really been wanting some nice gold earrings lately. Just in case you wanted to put that in your notes. <laughs> I am just trying to do better. I'm trying to do better about being in tune to the people I care about. Um, I think I just overall in 2022, I'm trying to do better across the board. Better overall. Um, whether it 2022 is the year of improvement, self improvement, trying to do better about not letting work to take over life. Trying, I mean, I've been constantly for years saying I wanted to find the life work balance and never quite winning that battle. <laughs> so this year, um, I decided to you know do baby steps, so it's like. Instead of always feeling like I got to go crazy big on everything. Oh, week vacation here, week vacation there. Now, in my marriage, my family life, and even if it's just a quick little weekend, we get away. So, um, I've been doing better, like, with me and Todd um, earlier this 
this year, you know, I randomly, oh, I found, you know, a trip for me and him to go to see Silk Sonic or that was one month, you know, or we went to Mexico, that was a quick trip. You know, now it was the, another thing to do was, you know, for us to do the um, Dave Chappelle thing. I planned something coming up for my mom and my aunts and some of my cousins to go see Anita Baker in Vegas in June. So it's, but it's it's all quick little things, but it's, it's because my life is so crazy with all the stuff I got going on. I'm just trying to do little things throughout so it's a consistent little things here, little things there. So I never allow too much time to pass where people feel that I have not catered to them or thought about them or showed care or concern. Because sometimes when you just be ah, working like a robot, then people feel like, oh, she didn't care. She don't study, you know, she ain't whatever, whatever. Which is not true. So I'm trying to do better. And showing that I care. That's the thing, showing that you care. So I've also been trying to do better about self-care. This is the self-care queen I right am here. self-care queen. She always talk about self-care <laughs> and all of that. You mm -hmm. know, I, I have forever told her, like, girl, please, like, don't nobody care about you doing this. Like, you gotta, you know, I've always been just so, so focused on how people don't care about this. Like, they don't care about that, just get to it. So now I'm trying to do better about self-care so it's just little stuff like now i've been trying to make regular appointments to get my lashes done which is stupid simple but it's something for me which actually takes time that i have to block out to do because when i say lashes, i don't mean just putting the little strip on i mean like going to get the lash extensions or whatever and, and you have to keep that up you can't just yeah let that go so I've been trying to stay consistent with it and keep myself up to stay in tune to taking moments for me. My self-care usually is not stuff I spend money on because I already spend too much money, so I don't do that. <laughs> but <laughs> usually just my way of doing self-care is like not being afraid to say like no because my most precious thing is my time. And if I don't want to do something and I know that it will make me uncomfortable or me annoyed, if I know I'm going to be like not feeling it, then I'm just going to be like, no. Because although it might make you feel like, oh, yay, okay, cool, I'm going to be annoyed. And me annoyed is the worst thing ever. So, yeah. Well, see, that's the thing that she and I differ on, which I love the fact that she can do that. But at the same time, it annoys me. Okay, <laughs> like, but we've had these conversations and I feel like, you know, I always in interpret it as being selfish. Like I always be like, oh, you're so selfish. She says everything is being selfish. I'm like, caring about yourself is not being selfish. Now, if it's yes. like actually something that's going to carry weight, then obviously I'm not going to be selfish. But if it's just like something simple that is not necessary i don't have to do it it's not being selfish by saying no if it's not necessary well i think it's really um a strength that she can do that and i definitely have even though it irks me i definitely look at it as something that um is a strength of hers because mm -hmm. a lot of people don't know how to say no or don't feel comfortable with saying no so me i have an issue with sometimes saying no to people about certain things my mom even gave me a book when I was younger with a section on saying no. It's like the well, art of saying learn. no. The art of saying no. And a lot of people don't realize how not saying no. One thing that I learned from the book, okay, this was an example that they basically used was, okay, you know how for me, and I find myself falling into this all the time, where, you know, people ask you to do stuff, right? A lot of stuff that people may ask me to do sometimes may not be very necessary, you're right? Or it'd be like such a waste of time sometimes. But I'd be feeling bad saying no. You know what I mean? And then say for instance, you come up on that day and you be like, why the fuck did I tell them that I was gonna do this? And you mad and you trying to figure out ways. This is from the book. They're basically saying, when you really didn't want to do something, sometimes you find ways to try to back out of it or cancel. And then you end up making the situation worse than if you would have just said no from the beginning. So the suggestion from the book was to say no first and then 
later on if you get closer to the date of the thing that the person is asking you about and you feel like mm, i guess i could do that for them or it wouldn't be that much of an inconvenience they like you can always call them back later and say hey did you still need to do need me to do blah 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 for you and then they can be like oh well thank you you know yeah i could or no i got it taken care of or whatever but at least you wouldn't have put them in a position to where you said yes and then you try to back out on them and now they scrambling to try to figure it out i mean typically i see it through if i tell them yes but then i'm sitting there like she said annoyed that I told him, yeah, and I'll be sitting there like, why am I doing this bullshit? Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, just the way I think about it is, would you rather yourself be annoyed or would you rather them be annoyed? I'd rather them be annoyed. Well. <laughs> so I'm okay with saying no. She has no problem doing I mean, of that. course, I still have some struggles, but, you know, usually I can see. It, it, it's a positive and negative to that. Yeah. It's a positive because you definitely put self first. But I think that's important. But then it's a negative because it comes off as selfish and sometimes it's being an asshole. Tell you. Tell other people too. But I noticed that this generation I've seen in like, you know, posts on social media and stuff, they are always talking about putting themselves first. Yeah. It's like a thing now to everybody. Like, you need it's to like put a yourself thing first. now. It's been a thing. <laughs> no, it hasn't always been a thing. I think a lot of people, it you know, a, a lot of people do make you feel like you're being selfish for putting yourself first. Like you? Yeah, because that's the way I've been yeah. brought up, like, different. She makes me feel selfish, and sometimes I'm like, I, that's not what being selfish is. Like caring about yourself is not being selfish. Putting I didn't say care first. about yourself. You but just I'm don't give a damn about what nobody that's else. That's not feels. true. But putting yourself first is not being selfish. A lot of people do not understand what being selfish actually is. Anyways, can we? Can you ask questions of some? Basically, sharing that I was saying self care. I'm trying to do better about it. This is something that you've always well for the last few years or whatever. You've definitely been being on. Like, and now I'm trying to take a little bit of you, put it in my routine. Yeah, you can learn from your kids as they get older. Sometimes your kids are smarter. <laughs> Didn't nobody say that. What else is going on? What's new? Like, what's your new goals? My new goals? Mm hmm To elevate. That's broad. <laughs> I'm just elevate everything. You know, school. Just anything that needs to be elevated. Like, I just feel like there's always something, you know, that can be elevated. And now I'm just finding those things out, you know. Mm -hmm. I've tried different things this year. You know, I started therapy this year. Mm -hmm. I've also stopped therapy this year. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so why did you stop therapy? Let's talk about that. I mean, I just feel like a lot of people think that, by the way, I am an advocate therapy but a lot of people think that like therapy is the only like help there is but I'm like I feel like just because you feel like you need some help in your life doesn't mean that it's necessarily therapy I feel like what I was actually looking for was more like I needed like a coach type thing like a life coach type vibe mm -hmm. um, I wanted more so guidance Mm -hmm. opposed to I guess like someone listening to me. well I always need someone to listen to me but like opposed to like actual like I was feeling down in the dumps it was more so I just need like life guidance so I, th I still think everyone needs therapy but I think specifically what I'm looking for is like actual life guidance and of course your therapists aren't actually supposed to like tell you what to do but like I kind of wanted someone to like tell me what to do so I think it's just like, you gotta look for what you need help with and then look more for who can help you with that. Of course, try everything out because you never know, you might actually, that actually might help you in ways you didn't think it would. I also think this year is a year of just like trying a whole bunch of things. Cause you never know. I can see where a person of your age with like a life coach or somebody yeah. for motivation and guidance, that's, that's yeah. cool. Especially, my age now of course in high school you have something else that's coming after mm -hmm. or you some people if you're going to college you have something else that's coming right after so you don't really need everyone's coaching you to go to college already so it's like okay someone's coaching me for what to do but now it's like we're getting towards obviously not the finish line but we're getting towards the finish line so it's like okay you got to start figuring stuff out like 
who do you talk to now, you know? And, and let's be clear, before y'all start going in these comments talking about what you got your mama and she can got you. Yeah, a lot of people do say that. I don't think people realize that, at least from, I, you might be saying something different, but I know a lot of people are like, um, oh, like, if your parents have money, like, you don't have to work, da 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 Can we discuss, there are different levels of parents having money. I am at the level where I still gotta work. So, I don't know why people are always saying that to me, where they're like, oh, like, you don't have to work, why are you so stressed, da da da, -da. It's like, there are those people who, like, their parents are, like, the owner of, like, Apple or, like, some designer company. Those people, they still making their kids work. I'm saying everyone still has to work, obviously, but I'm saying some people don't have to figure out, okay, what do I... It's picked for them. Yeah, it's kind of like you already have your path is what I'm saying. But if you don't want to choose a different path, you have a path because, you know, there's a huge company you're about to take over, whatever. You still have to go to college and do all the work, of course. People always saying to me, why are you always so stressed? Your parent has money, da 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 da. All I'm saying is, I still have to work. We ain't got Jeff Bezos money. I still need to get a job. So, period. Well, I'm glad you know that. But, exactly. <laughs> but the, the other thing that I think is funny is that well, our two youngest, they don't really, I mean, Ace already trying to figure out what type of work he want to do because he want to be rich. But he the, want to do uh, everything. Yeah, he want to do everything. But our two oldest, they, it don't even, the thought don't even cross their mind about taking over all these restaurants that we got going there. Well, like, that's that not true. Y'all have like them restaurants ain't making no money and nobody like that ain't going to do nothing for nobody. That's, well, that's the way not they true. I have even said to my mom that I would take courses on restaurant management. So, let's not do that. Yeah, and I said that I will come work and like see the different, you know. And then you the even said that you don't plan on coming back to Atlanta. So no, you do not plan on living in Atlanta. No. Obviously, I said there's nothing for me there. That's what I said, so I wouldn't come back. Obviously, if I had to, I would. But my thing is, you got a long run ahead of you, okay? <laughs> I don't need to think about that until I'm old. So, right now, I need to think about what I'm going to do in the next few years. Like, okay. I wouldn't even inherit that in, for another 30 years. So why would I be thinking about that for my main job? Got it. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's a question. What is one new thing you would like to try in 2022 that you haven't done before? <laughs> what does self-care was my new thing I was starting? <laughs> You can't um, just have one new thing. I don't really have a lot of things that I be trying to do. You know, I'm a tourist. I'm kind of like a fix of a re repetition. Like, whatever, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I would like to start back writing more and put out more music. I mean, I be having a lot of dope ideas to just sit, sit in my phone. Well, then execute well munchkin it has been awesome talking to you i don't want to talk you to death <laughs> the next they time like i come on here you need to have some questions ready okay i do have a question what do you think about the new season of the real housewives of atlanta um i think sonya's really funny i thought it was three golden one bronze no 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 four goals and one bronze i don't talk about a bronze well, what did you think about the first episode yeah. um i think it was nice i think it would be good to have a little bit more people. Really? You think yeah. six ain't enough? Mm -mm. I think it would be good to have just a just newer, more people. Mm -hmm. Like just for one season, have like a full cast. What's a full cast? Sometimes shows have like, like eight. Yeah, there are a lot of like shows now, like you know those like new reality shows where they have like a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Like Candy in the game, we got a lot of people. What did you think about the drama with Drew and her husband? Um, I think divorce. Oh, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I asked you the question. What did you think about when Marlo was talking about the money and all the money that she was making and stuff like that? Yeah. What did you think about that? I think it's really interesting. Honestly, I would, I'm assuming she's talked to maybe y'all about the details of it, or maybe I just haven't seen it on the show, but I really would like to hear like, 
how did she get so much money from him? How did she make it last? Like a how-to book to give a Basically, billion. like a how-to book. Like, how did that happen? Why did he give you just, I'm assuming, a lump sum of cash? And how did you save it all this time when you have all of those expensive pieces of clothing? Like, how much did he give? Yeah, I would like to know how much he yeah. gave too. <laughs> Cause I'm like, all those pieces were expensive. Stupid expensive. Yeah, she so literally like... walks around with like $10,000 or more on her body every day. She was talking about the guy. It's like talking on the phone. I may go get a bite to eat, but nothing like, I'm in love. Really? I didn't even know what he do for a living, but it's fine. People still don't know what you do. That's a lie. <laughs> That's a lie. He was looking like, no, we so don't So no know. one knows how she makes money? No. We still don't know. I mean, like, now I know she gets, like, you know, how most people who are, you know, um, social media, social media, you yeah. know, they make oh, posts, true. they yeah, get yeah. money from that. I mean, I, I get that, but outside of that, like, yeah. because, I, you know, of course, everybody looks at her lavish lifestyle. She's rolling in a Rolls Royce. She's yeah. got, you know, all this stuff. Now she's not only keeping herself up in labels, but yeah. the two boys as well. So it's like, what? Where so yeah, is all this money from? We need a how-to book on how to get money. From okay. Money Low. That's what she like to call herself. From Money Low? Not Marlo. Money oh. Low. That's what so she yeah, calls herself. We need herself. a how-to book from Money Low on how to get money. <laughs> when people don't even know you're getting money. Yes. When it, when that's a different type of know. money. Yeah, that's a different type yeah. of money. Okay, well, so what did you think about Sheree being back? Um, I thought it was good. I saw a comment when the preview had came out, someone saying she always going to get her little slow-mo entrance when she come back. And I really? think that's funny, yeah. Oh, I didn't know Because you know how it's like she's walking and it's like slow-mo and they have like some of the things she said before. I felt the need to tug on her wig. <laughs> But I mean, I think she's always like good TV and always entertaining. You're not worried that he would be out, you know, trying to be with other women if he's not sleeping with you? Girl, he, he loves his wife. <laughs> <laughs> from my point of view, I just think it's from a family member of someone on TV, I think it's very, it can be very awkward at times. Because it's like some things, like, especially there are a lot of things about your parent and same thing for a child that you just should not know. <laughs> and having her be on TV and on like posting things on social media, it's like there are a lot of things about her that I should not know. And yeah, that's what I will say. So it can be awkward at times having a family member on the show because it's like, okay. And it's like you can watch the whole thing through. So it's not like you can stop at certain parts where it's like you can tell it's going to be a crazy scene. It's like they just going to randomly say something. What's up with you and Todd? Are you happy? Are you genuinely happy? Are y'all screwing each other five times a week? Like in the first scene where you were talking about you and Todd, I was like, oh my God, can I skip this? What did I say? I think he wants it. I just be tired. I be tired. Just take it later. Right hey, thank you, Todd. Do the back. That's the back. That's what I need you to do right there. They were like, oh, I'm sure y'all been going at it. Are you giving now, blow you know jobs? What? The, funny, you the funny thing is, like, you would think that we would be screwing now that, you know, five, seven times a week. Yeah, but I was just like, that's just out of nowhere. Like, I didn't need to see that. Just use that the f***ing man, okay? I didn't need to hear that. Oh, my gosh. Okay, we're well, speaking of family members on TV. How do you feel about your grandma and your cousins and all that and aunties being on Candy in the Game? Uh, Patrick. What? Right. Honestly, I'm trying to be. I'm probably gonna meet with Torn because, you know, I got my Pooh Confiance shoe. What? What about Patrick? Like, obviously, I grew up with him as like an older brother. So seeing, first of all, seeing him in this relationship is weird. So Safari so gonna help me take pictures. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't she superwoman? Yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> why you say that? How you go from being the player to being played? <laughs> like, I'm a little whipped right now. Ooh. <laughs> you know, that we're not used to seeing him like that. He knows yeah. that. Also, just like all his comments on like. I want to have like a wall full of sex toys. What? Whips. Like handcuffs. 
Dang. when I get ready. She I, on, they I on don't the, design. Um, she on I the don't bed. Do. I just like, yeah, cool. <laughs> As a family member, do not need to hear that. Patrick is the one tied up, <laughs> gagged, <laughs> and Safari is running all the shots around that. Do you hear me? Did you see what he posted today? I did. Who do y'all think picked these costumes out? Me? And I was very, ooh. Or Safari? Who you think? I was like, <laughs> I did not FYI, he, he wears that on the Real Housewives of Atlanta this season. Well, did not need to, too much was out. Him and her, too much was out. I didn't need to see that. Well, I'm going to get in trouble for it. You are? But I mean, one thing I will say in Patrick's defense is that I think for a lot of women, I'm surprised a lot of women are opposed to this because I feel like, or maybe it's just this new generation. But I feel like usually women do want the guy to like listen to them and basically not do what they say, but like do what they say. Well, you always so, say that's the type of guy you want. Well, I would prefer that they not to that extent of like where they wouldn't do anything they wanted. I'm a little whipped right now. I would prefer someone that just listens to me and I, if I'm like, ah, oh, I don't really like that. They'd be like, okay, of course it can be a discussion. I'm just surprised that a lot of women aren't like, oh yes, this kind of meat man we need. I actually hung my player jersey up when I met Safari. I wasn't even intending to. In the past, I was being a hoe. But if I didn't go through the things I went through in life with all the women, I wouldn't have been ready for Safari. You know what else is different what? that um, I find to be interesting? What? Melvin. He's different? No, he's not different. Oh. He's himself. Yeah. But people are, well, not just people, a lot of women are like, they Love find Melvin? him. Melvin? Yes. <laughs> They're like, in love with Melvin, want Melvin, they can't wait for his speak on it. The teddy bear of candy in the gang, the man that everybody loves, Chef Melvin in the building. Jamie said he's a ladies man, I'm like. Because with Melvin, you can tell he's just like true to himself and really like really true to his craft and doing what needs to be done. Especially he's the only one really like, other than like Philip, actually doing his job and like focused on doing his job. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. <laughs> and he's just, you can just tell he's being himself like on the TV and he's just chill and like there's no drama. And he's not even on the show that much, but he's just like, you can tell he's just down to earth. Yeah, of yeah. course. Melvin actually lived with us um, throughout his life when Riley was, was a, baby. a baby. He lived with us, so I went from having no kids to two. All at the same mm -hmm. time, I had a baby baby, which was Riley, and I had um, Melvin, and he was only like 11 at the time. Some, yeah, I think he's like 11 years older. Than yeah, he's 11. Exactly. He really? was 11, yeah, because he's 30 and you're 19 he's right 30? now. He's 30? Oh, my goodness. Yeah, he's he, he going to be 31. Oh, my goodness. Why do you say it like that? He's so old. old. Don't no, not so do old. that. He's not old. Anyway, and then again, remember he um, lived with us when we moved to the new house for a little while. Oh, oh yeah. But I didn't really see him that often because I think he was going to like college or something. Yeah, he was going to school, but yeah. then he went away to yeah. jail for a little while. So yeah, I didn't say that much. Uh, my senior year of college, some things kind of took a turn for the worse. Um, I end up getting in a little trouble. But yeah, I would say. But he has become a fan favorite. Well, I think that the women love him. Yeah, I mean, it's so funny to me because you know, like I was just looking at Melvin. It was just like, your son. Yeah, like yeah. But they like, oh Melvin. Like, it's literally a woman on Instagram or social media who 
I guess she lives in the same complex that he lives in. She's never met him. She records videos of him and posts them. And like, oh, there's um, Chef Melvin from Old Lady Gang. Oh my goodness. Like one day he was like, I guess at the grill at his, um, you know how you have the grill by mm -hmm. the swimming area at their complex. And I guess she was in her apartment building shooting video of him. And she's never introduced herself. That's scary. Say hello next time. I love that people love Melvin. Yeah, I think initially before the show came out, we definitely thought it would have been Patrick. Mm hmm Yeah, so. Because he's always been like the ladies man of the family. Mm -hmm. But um, not that Melvin doesn't love the ladies. He's just more chill, yeah. one woman type of guy. Patrick's just always out there. <laughs> Patrick be on the streets. <laughs> Melvin be waiting for him at the curb. She meant that with love. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean, I think for me, definitely my favorites. Well, you know, I was, I guess low key, I just be loving like the whole cast. But, you know, when I talk to you about it, my favorites were um, Philip. I think I'm definitely becoming a part of the family. When it first came on, I was like, oh, Philip's so funny because, like, He's like me, but a little bit more <laughs> no extreme. No nonsense. Yeah, more extreme for sure. But like, I find like him funny and like, you know, so I really liked him. And then when Brian came on, I was like, oh, like hilarious. There's another one. <laughs> Not Could you imagine it by my fool? And then of course, like he has that vulnerability too. So it's just like. This is what I want. I don't really want white though. I want it like all black and like some gold writing, maybe a little pink, fuchsia, some like Wait, that. so black, gold writing, and fuchsia? Yeah, some tacky as hell, bro. Yeah, and then when Torin came on and he wasn't playing no games with Philip, cause I just thought Torin was gonna be, you know, your funny friend who you know is just like chill and don't want no problems but we're just introducing ourselves and i would just like an introduction instead of this is who i am he was ready for problems so i was like oh. yeah. so i think they're my favorite to watch oh really yeah oh but what did you think about um when Chandrika wasn't let in and Dominique didn't go outside. What did you think about that? Okay, great. So I'm so happy this topic came up. If uh, your friend, if you went with your friend, if you and Carmen went to a party together. Oh yeah, she better bring her butt on up out of there. <laughs> like, yeah. That's I what I was it. thinking. Oh baby. It yeah. definitely would have had to be a conversation. Yeah. And then I know everyone was coming at Chandrika's boyfriend, but I'm like, he was doing the right thing. I don't know why she didn't say something. Yeah, nah, he was checking everybody. He was not playing about yeah. his girl. Me, my wife, you Safari, you Chandrika. Yeah. She shouldn't have left either of them. Yeah, he wasn't playing. Yeah. He was serious. She wasn't trying to leave. Still, if that's my friend standing outside, you either better let her in or we both leave and I don't care who filmed. Who? Riley don't play. I don't not know. Not by my is. friend. She is a Leo and she is a strong Leo, okay? Mm -hmm. She does not play. This is my child. I have raised her up. And she, yeah, like she my mama sometimes. Here's the thing. This is the one thing I do want you to address. So, years ago, you said I didn't need no more kids. Mm -hmm. And now that you have a younger <laughs> sister or brother, how do you feel about being a big sister and your, your younger siblings? I mean, obviously, I love being a big sister. I think everyone can see that, especially from when I left to college and Ace being so sad. And obviously, I love being a big sister and I love my siblings. Sadly, I'm not there, clearly, because I live in New York. So that's a sad part. But when I said that, clearly, I wasn't saying like, oh, if you have kids, I'm not going to talk to them. I'm not going to like that. <laughs> I, I was just saying that for your sake, you don't need kids. <laughs> Now me, I'm a sister. I can come and go as I please, so I'm cool. Of course, it is a little sad with that inheritance being split up a little bit more, but it is what it is. Oh! I'm just kidding. That is terrible. Hello, well guys. Thank you for checking in with Riles and I. Um, you have a lot of good information, you know? Hopefully y'all won't be hating on me in the comments. Let's yeah. remember this is all fun and jokes. Yeah, um, make sure you follow Riley on social media. On Instagram, TikTok. Yeah. All at Riley Burris. Riley Burris. And hopefully that will encourage her to post more. I will post more. I'll take a picture today. <laughs>
just for y'all. All right, well, thanks for watching. Speak on it. Well, speak on it.